Is Cobra Kai good? Well, it's complicated. On one hand, you have satisfying character arcs, cool fight scenes, and ton of likable characters. On the other hand, it has cheesy writing, boring love triangles, and some of the most plain cinematography I've seen in a while. Now, it's kinda weird to complain about a show looking like a show. Since we've had movie level productions on TV for a while now, it should kinda be standard by now. This show shouldn't look like a sitcom. But when I said it's complicated, I wasn't kidding, cause some of the angles that they use are very clever, and there are some very ambitious long takes, so I don't really know if I even hate the cinematography. I do hate when it does flashbacks to the original 1984 film, and it just looks so much better. It kinda sucks that this old movie looks so much better. Like you can tell when it does its flashbacks and when it's using the film's flashbacks. Speaking of fights, there are some genuinely good character moments. It's incredible that the show can tell us things about the character, learning certain things without actually saying it, even though it does say most things. The show does treat its audience like babies sometimes and just explaining everything, but the rare occasion where it doesn't use any words and you just see the fight scene and it just mirrors another one or they show that a character has learned a certain thing, it's very good. Also, the musical score sometimes takes elements from the original trilogy which just plays into the moment. Like when Johnny Lawrence is fighting Terry Silver, we hear similar music cues from Karate Kid 3. When Daniel is training with Mr. Miyagi, reinforcing that Johnny has learned and is using Miyagi-Do karate. Speaking of characters, I think the arcs and how they play off of one another is just great. The way Robbie negatively influences a child the same way his dad influenced Miguel. But for every good thing the show does, it does something bad. The dialogue is cheesy. Some of the acting is bad. Like, I don't get why the actor for Anthony LaRusso is replaced with a worse actor. Like, I know he's a kid and whatever, but like, why would you replace him with the worst actor? And side note, it's not just a kid. There's lots of mediocre acting throughout the show. But also, at the same time, there's like incredible acting too. So it's like just insane. So I don't know what to say. But also in this show, the most random shit just happens for no reason. Like, why is there a live Carrie Underwood performance in my karate show? And why do any of the All Valley suits get any screen time? Like, instead of those pointless scenes, we should have got a slower, less rushed arc with Hawk. But no, let's spend more time with Amanda and Tori constantly provoking each other for like a season. Like I get she's going to be her new mommy or whatever, but let's get on with it. Let's go to the real story. But all that being said, I really do want to see where Miguel and Robbie's story go. The show is being less of a reboot and more of a sequel, which is very exciting. You rarely actually see that. I think this is just going to be like a short, quick review. I'll be way more in depth when the show's actually finished and because like I'll actually know how it ends and do a more in-depth analysis because a couple character arcs can really go anywhere, honestly. The show is going in some pretty interesting directions. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, comment down your review of Cobra Kai because it seems like everyone really likes it. I mean, I really like it. Don't get me wrong. I do have some small flaws with it. I do think it's really good. I would love to hear your thoughts. But yeah, thanks for watching.